welcome back to another vlog so if you're new here hi my name's sam <laughs> i just recently moved from northeast pennsylvania to wilmington north carolina i'm technically going on my second week now of living here in my new apartment and i just recently got a new mattress which is so nice. I was sleeping on an air mattress for the first few nights and I did want to take a second to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is LUL. Thank you so much to them for not only working with me, but for sending me this amazing mattress because it really helped make my move so much easier. But I slept on my new mattress for the first time last night and ah, it was heavenly. So I have the LUL original mattress. And if you've never heard of Lull before, they are an online mattress company. And I know it can be a little scary. I feel like anytime you're ordering anything online that you're not able to see in person first, and especially with a mattress, you know, you want to make sure that it's comfortable. But they do have a 365 night trial, which is amazing. So you get to have the mattress for a year and try it out, make sure that it's comfortable and that you like it. They also have free shipping, free returns, and a lifetime warranty. So you pretty much have nothing to lose there's no risk in it the mattress was delivered in a tall narrow box right to my door it was super easy to unbox and assemble just pulled the mattress out of the box cut all of the plastic i was actually amazed by how this came packaged the mattress was literally folded in half it was completely airtight like a flat pancake and then as i cut the plastic off it literally just started expanding and i was like oh my god and i live alone so i unboxed it completely by myself it wasn't a problem i left it for a full day to fully expand before sleeping on it and it's amazing it is a memory foam mattress which is perfect for me my dog Benny sleeps in bed with me and he gets up and repositions himself a lot throughout the night and I was previously sleeping on a regular spring mattress and every time he would get up the bed would move around and it would wake me up and I felt like I was getting terrible sleep but last night with the memory foam mattress I didn't wake up once. So if you're interested in trying out Lull for yourself I will have a link and a discount code to save you $300 off your mattress. It's a pretty good deal so thank you again so much to lull for working with me i seriously love my mattress and i'm so happy that i'm not sleeping on an air mattress anymore and now my bed is done and complete and my room feels so nice and cozy so let's see it's currently saturday i've really been wanting to go out and explore the area a little bit more and also bring you guys around with me and show you my new city i've gone out a little bit here and there and especially when i had first came down to apartment hunt and really like scope out the area to make sure that i wanted to live here i did a little bit of exploring but it's different when you have people and you have your family with you versus going and doing it by yourself so um, I want to do a little bit more of that this week and I also want to do a little more like home decor shopping. I have all of my furniture at this point like the apartment is pretty much done but there are just like a couple little like final details that I kind of want to add so I think I want to go to home goods I have a few gift cards to there so I'd love to just poke around in there see what I can find I don't think I'm gonna go out today because I do have a lot of work to do and it's also the Saturday before Christmas so I feel like it's gonna be really busy out there's probably gonna be a lot of traffic just a lot of people in the stores so I kind of would rather wait to do that during the week maybe in like the morning so today I think I'm just gonna stay home chill do some work. I have one video that I need to edit and then another that I want to film. So yeah, that is the plan for today. Oh, yesterday I went to the beach with Benny. There's actually a few beaches in this area that are all within like 15 minutes of my apartment, which is amazing. I've never lived in a beach town before, so it's crazy to have that option to literally just like hop in the car and just go to the beach real quick. I'll insert some footage of that.
ready now. Put on a little bit of makeup so I can start filming my video. Good morning. It's a really gloomy day today, but it's kind of perfect because it's Sunday and it's been so sunny here since I moved. What's happening with this hair? And it's kind of nice actually to have just like a dark cloudy rainy day, especially because it's not cold. It may be gloomy and rainy. Oh, did you hear that thunder? I just put in a maintenance request because I had the air conditioning on, and actually I had it on yesterday, but then last night I was like, it feels really, really warm in here. Like, what's going on? So I went to go check the temperature, and the air condition was on, and it was set to like 70, but it was saying it was like 77 in my apartment. So I turned it off, turned it back on, and it just wasn't really doing anything but then this morning I was like let me try to turn it on again and see if it works and it was working it turned on I could feel the cool air coming out of the vents the temperature was lowering then I came into my closet I was grabbing my shoes and I noticed hold on I have them out here I noticed that my little fake Uggs were all wet and I was like what is going on because I haven't worn them recently and then I noticed I have this thing in the closet there was moisture accumulating at the bottom here and it was leaking down I don't know if you can see that yeah there it was creating like watermarks on the wall and it was just leaking right onto my boots and like the carpet still feels like a teeny bit damp now and the whole back of this thing it still does can you see that it's like wet to the touch i'm glad i noticed it now before anything got damaged so yeah i turned the ac off luckily today it's pretty cool anyway so i don't really need it on the last few days it literally was in the high 70s but i think this whole coming week the temperature is going to drop and be in like the high 50s so i won't need it so it's not a high priority thing but what is nice about living in an apartment complex is that i can just go online put in a maintenance request. I put it as medium priority because I figure I'm probably not gonna be turning the AC on for a little while, but it is really coming down out there. It's actually really peaceful. I'm gonna leave this door cracked open a teeny bit so I can hear the rain. I was planning on going out at some point this afternoon because my mom had ordered me this coffee machine. I was talking to her, if you saw the last vlog, I bought myself this little coffee maker because I do have the Nespresso, which I love. I use it every single day, but there's some days where like, I just wanna brew a whole pot of coffee and I want multiple cups. So anyway, I was saying that to my mom and she ordered this for me from Kohl's as a surprise, which is so sweet of her, but this is really big. I just like the smaller one because it takes up less counter space. So there's a gift receipt in here. She was like, oh, just take it back then, exchange it for something else. All right, the rain finally stopped, so I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity. Here's my outfit. Blazer is thrifted. T-shirt underneath is from H&M. I just have some plain black leggings. My little rain boots that I got from TJ Maxx. Adidas hat because my hair is looking pretty greasy and I'm all out of dry shampoo. Need to get that. Kohl's was a success. Next stop, Target. Just got home, show you the stuff that I got at Target. Nothing super exciting, but why not share a little haul? So I got some Halo Top ice cream, delish. I got the cookies and cream flavor. This needs to go in the freezer immediately. Also got some half and half. Got a couple of snacks to uh, just keep in the kitchen. I don't know, I've been in like a snacky mood lately and I don't have anything here. I mean, I just moved in, so my kitchen stock is quite limited. So I got some kettle corn, popcorn chips. Those are so good. Some Pepperidge Farm cookies, Cheez-Its. I think that was it for the snacking stuff. 
So I feel like those are some good options. You know, we got our salty, our sweet, and our sweet and salty. A pack of gum. Also got a jar of Alfredo sauce. And then I wanted to get some more bath things. So I got this Dr. Teal's foaming bath with Epsom salt. Um, it has melatonin and essential oils. It sounded lovely. And then I got some regular Dr. Teal's Epsom salt with coconut oil. This is supposed to be very moisturizing and help to soften your skin. I got another loofah, some deodorant, and dry shampoo. I love the Not Your Mother's texturizing beach babe dry shampoo in the white and blue bottle, but I saw this one, Plump for Joy bodybuilding dry shampoo. And then I got one of these things to put in the coat closet. I'll probably actually do that now because I have all of like my cleaning stuff in there and I have no way to organize it. It's just all been kind of sitting on the floor and I left the cold stuff in the car. I'll go get that in a little bit and I'll show you what I got from there. So I got a couple of bras and then I needed some more bowls. Not necessarily deep bowls, but something like this. These were the only two that I saw sitting there. So I was like, all right, I'll just grab those nice and plain and simple. And then I also got this set of frying pans. So that was a successful trip. Ended up getting things that I actually needed, not just like random bullshit. It is Tuesday night. I was fully anticipating this whole week to be like super productive and you know I had finally finished unpacking everything and was pretty much settled in. The apartment was all like done and good to go. So I wanted to really go out and go exploring, get some more decorative pieces, you know, get like the final touches going in here. And then things just like went in a totally different direction. <sighs> Let me just show you. Let me show you what's going on right now. So my kitchen is completely empty and this is what my living room is looking like right now. Shit just everywhere. I love that. And in the bedroom as well. More shit. <laughs> I was contemplating if I should even include this in the vlog or not because initially I was like, no, it's gross. I don't want to talk about it. But it's the reality of life. And also, let me just, it, it's not that big of a deal. It's nothing serious. But a few days into me being here, when my family was still down visiting, helping me with the move, we had went out to dinner, and I had fed Benny before we left, and I had his food bowls just sitting on the floor in the kitchen, and he didn't finish all of the food in his bowl, and I didn't even like pay attention, didn't think anything of it. We left for a few hours to go to dinner, came back, turned the lights on, and found like two cockroaches. It was just like one or two. They were clearly attracted to his food bowl, and I was like, oh, ill, gross. Okay, I clearly can't be leaving his food in the kitchen like this. And people had warned me like, oh, you're moving down south. Good luck with the bugs. So I have been making it a point to like keep the kitchen as clean as possible, wipe everything down, sweep the floor, etc. At the end of the night, I haven't even been feeding Benny in the kitchen. I've actually been feeding him and keeping his food out on the balcony. And I clean his bowls like at the end of every day, whatever, trying to keep it as clean as possible. But then like as time was going on, I kept seeing a few like here and there. But I also know that like if you see one, there's usually 
a lot more. And I've dealt with this before, especially like I lived in Philadelphia all through college and one of the houses in particular that I lived in for one year, we had a really bad roach problem. Like really, really, really bad. And our landlord was a dick and he would not get a professional to come and take care of the problem and it was like a whole nightmare. Luckily, the apartment I live in, and they told me this like even when I was touring the place, they have a pest control guy that comes every single Monday. Whether people need him or not, he comes to the property every single Monday. So if you need him to come and take care of anything in your particular unit, you just let the office know, they add you to the list, and he'll come by. I let them know right away that first week, like, hey, can you add me to the list? I want the guy to come on Monday. So he came that first Monday. He just kind of sprayed, like, the perimeter of the kitchen and in the bathroom. I have, I've only been seeing them in the kitchen, luckily, knock on wood, <laughs> nowhere else in any of the other rooms or any other areas of the apartment. But then he said, okay, I want to come back next week and I want you to take everything out of the kitchen, out of all of the cabinets, so I can do a really in-depth spray and get into all of like the cabinets and everything. I don't want there to be any places for them to hide. So that's why I pulled everything out of the kitchen and why my stuff is like all over the apartment. So he came yesterday morning and he told me to leave it for about a day to like fully dry before I put my stuff back. And I still have not put anything back yet because I wanna give it a little more time. Luckily, it hasn't been that bad of a problem. I've experienced a lot worse, um, but you know, after they spray, then they all start to come out and then they die and you just like find all these dead bugs. It's disgusting. So last night I was starting to see some dying ones. And then this morning, I went and vacuumed up everything that I saw. Luckily, there wasn't that many, and they were mostly just like under the island and under the sink. Mostly under the island though. Um, but there weren't any that I found like in the top cabinets where I was keeping like my plates and my cups and stuff like that. And I keep periodically checking to see if I discover anything new. I'm literally getting goosebumps and chills talking about it. That's the situation that I'm dealing with right now and I'm really scared to put anything <laughs> away in the kitchen because I'm like ugh, if there's still anything lingering you know I don't want it ugh, getting into my stuff. Oh my god. I just keep trying to stay positive and remind myself that like it could be way worse because I know from experience and at least my building is responsive and I have the exterminator available and he can come as often as I need him to and I don't have to pay anything extra out of pocket, which is so nice. And I know that it is just like one of those things that you just kind of have to deal with being in the South. If you live in the South as well and you have any experience with this, please comment down below and let me know because I keep calling my mom just like looking for reassurance. <laughs> Because I'm like getting kind of stressed out about it. It's just like so yucky. Ugh. But I'm just waiting until like I no longer see anything before I start putting my stuff away. And I think I'm going to just have the guy keep coming back every so often just to spray just like preventatively. I'm going to do my best to just keep everything as clean and spotless as possible. But I really want to take a nice long shower right now. Do like the shower, you know, the big shower where you wash your hair, do a hair treatment, exfoliate, shave, the whole nine yards. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I got this big giant bottle of Joyco K-Pack Hydrator Intense Treatment. And I'm using this as opposed to like an Olaplex treatment because the Olaplex Moisture Treatment, the number eight, I don't like it. I just don't feel like it does anything for my hair. And I'm not going to do the number three treatment because my hair's not damaged. So I don't really feel like I need it. This is more for like dryness. And recently I switched back over to the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner. I was using this before I started using the Olaplex. And I used Olaplex consistently for like a year and a half. It's still my favorite. But these were on sale at Cosmoprof. And I just felt like switching it up 
I think it's good to do that every so often. Let me just show you a little like what's in my shower. This fake, I think it's eucalyptus, right? I don't know, but it's fake. I got it from Target. I have this sea salt scrub. Don't remember where I got this from. The shampoo and conditioner I just showed you and the treatment. This is what I have been using for my body wash from Bath and Body Works. And then the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser. Good morning. Last night I fell asleep with my hair wet and I did not like the way that it air dried. So I brushed through it. Now it's this poofy mess and I'm just gonna add some waves in it because this is just the easiest thing right now. This is the Bedhead A Wave We Go Waver. I will link it in the description. It just kind of like works with my natural texture a little bit, but the heat kind of helps to like tame it a little bit. So it's like an intentional cute kind of messy. So anyway, I got up this morning and I went to go check in the kitchen to see if I found any more dead friends. And let me knock on wood again. Nothing. Not a single thing. So, I am really, really hoping that this means that it wasn't like a full on infestation and that there was just a few that kind of like found their way over and that it won't be like an ongoing issue. I am gonna have the guy keep coming back and spraying every so often, just preventatively so that, you know, they don't come back. I still feel a little skeeved out though about putting my stuff away. So I don't know. I might still wait another day, see what happens and um, then clean first before I put anything away. I need to call them and find out because obviously I don't want to do like anything that's too aggressive because I don't want to clean away what they sprayed. But here's the difference, the side by side, after using the waiver, and then versus without. So I'm just gonna finish this real quick and then take Benny out to use the bathroom. I have some maintenance guys coming to replace a part in my HVAC unit. I put in a maintenance request and this was like a Sunday afternoon and they literally came the next morning. They said the Freon levels were low so they recharged that but then there's also like a coil or something that needs to be replaced. So they ordered that and they're already coming today which is really awesome. So I have to say like you know anytime you're moving into an apartment I feel like you're always going to run into a few hiccups here and there but what makes all the difference is how your landlord responds to things and that's another reason why I wanted to go like the apartment complex route and rent from like a management company because from my experience when you're working with a corporate company they are a little more responsive and they have their shit together a little bit more so I'm very grateful for that we're making progress over here the maintenance guys just came. I'm glad that that's gotten taken care of. But I think I'm gonna go out now because I just need to get out of this damn apartment. And it's finally not raining. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and go to Home Goods. I have a list of some things that I wanna get, but I also have some gift cards. So I kinda just wanna like walk around, take my time, see what they have, see if anything cute stands out to me. Here's my little comfy casual outfit of the day cropped sweatshirt is from zara adidas i don't even know what you would call them i guess they are technically joggers adidas sneakers and then this little sherpa pullover thing is from old navy bag from target as always i also have been meaning to go check out the little gym here. I mean, I saw it when I toured this place. I would like to go and maybe like go on the elliptical for a little bit or something. That's the plan. So let's go to Home Goods.
back. I got everything that was on my list. So let's do a little haul. I'm kind of out of breath from carrying this up the stairs. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Oh, you missed me? I was gone for like an hour. That's it. Okay, so the first thing that I needed was a shoe rack. I have all my shoes in a basket right now, just kind of like thrown on the floor. So I would like to get those organized. Then I saw this little fake plant, which I love for my dresser in here because I just have stuff on here, but it's not really like styled per se. Like, it, I don't know, it doesn't really look cute. And then I also got this, which I'm hoping is big enough. I wanted some kind of tray or something to hold my perfumes. I was having a hard time finding one that I felt was a good size. Like a lot of the ones I have are just really, really big. We'll play around with it. Not sure about that yet. Then I needed some more dish towels. And then I got this little Lazy Susan to put in the cabinet with all of my spices. Oh, this is also for my dresser in the bedroom. I needed something to put my makeup brushes in and I found this in the bathroom section. I thought it was perfect. It has the two separate sections so I can do face brushes on one side, eye brushes on the other. I got some coasters. And then I also really, really needed a new planner, especially now that I am trying to focus on YouTube and social media work more. I just need this to keep myself organized. And then I got this basket to use as a laundry hamper. Now I'm going to try to figure out this dresser situation. So this is what the dresser looks like before. Here's the after. Originally, I didn't put the plant on here and I just had all of my perfumes, but even still, it just looked like very, very cluttered. And then I didn't know what I wanted to do with that. And then I thought because it's hanging, it would just look cute, like lifted up. So I put it on there with the perfumes. And I think I like how that looks. And I love the makeup brush holder. Just looks way more organized now. Next on the agenda, I want to hang up these frames. They came together in a pack from Target. I've had them for a while now, and I'm thinking of just putting them above my bed there. I kind of feel like I should get a really big piece to put up there, but then at the same time, I don't know if that'll be too much. And I already have these. So I think I'll just put them up for now, and then if I find something else in the future that I like better, then I can swap it out, but I'm just gonna put them up for now. pictures do you like the pictures do you think they look nice <laughs> now that I'm seeing them up there they do look kind of small so I don't know maybe in the future I will get something larger to put up there but it's not a priority right now so that'll do now we're gonna transfer the dirty clothes from the laundry bag to the new basket beautiful cute and i feel like it looks way better than just like a regular traditional hamper kind of goes with the rest of the decor in the room Good morning. It has become my entire life checking this kitchen, but haven't seen anything at all anywhere. So fingers crossed that that's a good sign. And hopefully this whole thing is behind me. I think I'm going to clean and put some of my stuff away in the top cabinets because I have not seen anything up there 
at all this entire time. So I feel pretty safe putting things away up there and I just need to because I feel like I can't use my kitchen because it's completely empty. I can't use my living room because it's just filled with all my kitchen stuff. So I feel like I've just been confined to my bedroom and I haven't been able to have my regular routine and I haven't been as productive. Everything just feels very off. And I'm sorry that this is like what this entire vlog has been based around, but this has just been my week. Let's clean and I'm going to put this shelf paper on all the shelves and all of the cabinets. Here is the progress I made so far. By the way, the little Lazy Susan I got at Home Goods, Perfect fit. And I have my dishes and stuff in here. And that's all I'm gonna put away for now, I think. I still wanna kinda wait it out, make sure everything is definitely good. And Definitely not putting anything in the island yet, but I just want to be able to use my kitchen again And I did clean the countertops, but I tried to be careful Not to get like in the corners and I did not do anything wet on the floor And I also didn't do anything wet inside of the cabinets I just swept and vacuumed as you saw which the pest control company said is fine and won't disturb what they sprayed so hopefully Things will be good here trying to be all positive so making myself a nice coffee and I was about to like wrap up the vlog and be like you know I'm starting to feel better I think that things are turning around uh, and then I just saw a cockroach and I literally had said multiple times that oh I never saw anything in the top cabinets or near the top cabinets so I think those are safe finally put my stuff away this morning and then I literally was setting my camera on one of the shelves in the top cabinet and then I saw one like slowly kind of crawling its way along the side near the hinges of the cabinet door. So that's a no for me. Um, took everything out because that was the cabinet that I had my food in. That one on the right. So took everything out, put it back in a box. My plates and glasses and stuff. I'm just gonna leave, I think, for now. Everything is stored upside down, so hopefully it'll be okay. Ugh! I apologize for being really dramatic about this whole bug thing. Looking back at the footage and even like 
how I'm reacting now. I feel like I'm probably being a big baby about the whole thing and it, it's not like the end of the world. It's not the biggest deal. People deal with much worse. But I was just looking forward so much to moving in here and having my own place and decorating it all cute and just feeling like I have a space of my own and I have a nice kitchen that I can cook in and I can make healthy meals for myself and this just is a little bit of a setback and it just put a little bit of a damper on things and I feel like I was getting a good routine going and I was enjoying it and now this has like disrupted things but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here please comment down below let me know if you have gone through a similar experience and if you have anything encouraging <laughs> to share with me please let me know. I need that so much right now. Oh, and I hope that you have had, probably had, it's probably going up after Christmas. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate or happy holidays, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.